to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence Holy Spirit, you are welcome Lift your hands, let it be from the depth of your heart Fill this temple with your presence We wait on you Lord, we wait on you. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. Sing it one more time. We wait on you. We wait on you. We wait on you. hallelujah praise the name of the lord while standing we'll be doing a lot of activities tonight and that will be very fast the first that we'll be having tonight is a session of prayer how many of you believe in the ministry of prayer when you pray and pray with understanding you are able to turn the tides of things even to your favor acts chapter 12 we're still standing we'll read from verse 1 to about 4 or 5 there's something I want to establish there please get ready to pray when it's time to pray pray like a priest pray without distraction you are edifying yourself and in the place of prayer you are settling issues concerning your life because some of you you are standing here representing yourselves your destinies and your families remember jesus said he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint acts chapter 12 will start from verse 1. now about that time herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex Saturn of the church two and he killed james the brother of john with the sword and because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison, a place of confinement, a place where his voice will no longer be heard. It says, and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him in ending after Easter to bring him forth to the people read the next verse please verse 5 Peter therefore was kept in prison but prayer was made without season of the church unto God for him listen to me prayer can bring anything that is in the prison to come out it doesn't have to be a human being alone your gifts that are dormant your abilities that are locked up everything that the devil has stolen the assignment of a prison is to keep you in a place of confinement so that your voice will no longer be heard so that your influence will no longer be heard so that your destiny would not find expression there are people in prisons today they are not dead 
they are alive but they are as good as dead because nothing can be heard from them listen in the next five ten or even fifteen minutes you're going to take out time we're going to be praying in the spirit with every sense of seriousness why are we praying number one as a corporate atmosphere of prayer to cultivate your prayer life for some of you in this anointing tonight what god is going to be doing is restoring your prayer fire because it has gone down and believe me you cannot reign in life when the ministry of prayer is dead over your life number two you will be praying to edify yourself to build up capacity in the spirit and number three you're going to be praying releasing mysteries that god will bring everything that is locked up the gifts the graces the mantles the anointing the prophecies that have been kept in prison that will not let you find expression it must give way is someone ready to pray in the next 10 minutes no distraction it is between you and your savior open your mouth and cry like a priest go ahead and pray you are praying for the sake of your destiny if you want to walk around you can walk around you want to kneel you can kneel you want to lie you can lie but make sure you are praying no laziness no looking around pray Bracata bra de gete bra tus koto bra de gete bele de bos. Bra tus kosi se si pe de pe de boros. Ki pray. La kra to kata bra da gata bra tus koto bra gete. Am bra kadus kali bra di gete bra tus koto bra gete. La kata bra da gata bra de gete bele ke tus kate bra to koto shabre de gete ya. Ma ka bra da gata bra de gete bele ke tus. For the sake of your destiny, for the sake of those looking up to you, for the sake of your family. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
and the labaga gata prate kete prate kete prele kete prosade gata balada bo. The flesh may be weak, but I assure you, the spirit is willing. Ali baratosh kali prate kete bara bara. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. In the name of Jesus. You are going to pray from the depth of your heart. Father revive my spiritual life revive my prayer life revive my word study life revive my character for the next five to six minutes let that be your cry from the depth of your heart purge me wash me cleanse me bring personal revival to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray Revive, revive my life, revive my destiny, revive my prayer altar, revive my passion for you, revive my passion for the world. Someone is praying. Ale baratoshka de brande ge de brate ge te Ela braka toska li brate ge de bele de bosh Sa di brande ge de bele de bosh from the depth of your heart let the fire of revival fall upon my life Arabala shalaka tabrataka tabrataka Ebrakata baraka tushka tabrataka 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 In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Listen, we are still praying We are still praying a prayer of revival Revelation chapter 2 Revelation chapter 2 We we'll start our reading from verse 1 We are reading to verse 4 Unto the angel of the church in Ephesus Write This thing saith he that holdeth the seven stars In his right hand Who walketh in the midst of the stones The, the seven golden candlesticks Verse 2 I know thy works and thy labor 
I know thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not and has found them liars next verse and has born and has patience and for my name's sake you have labored and you have not fainted however verse 4 nevertheless i have somewhat against you because thou hast left thy first love five it says remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works or else i will come unto you quickly and i will remove thy lampstand or thy candlestick except thou repent you are ready to pray father purge me and restore restore to me my spiritual experiences restore the visions restore the dreams restore the anointings restore the graces every virtue i have lost through carelessness every virtue i have lost through indiscipline every virtue i have lost through lukewarmness revive our lord god restore open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray Revive our God. Restore, 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 restore. Restore fire. Restore dreams. Apratasca de Beleketos, Emprataka Paracata Paracatos, Cotto Prendega de Beleketo. Restore my prayer altar. Restore my appetite for your word. Restore my character. Restore discipline to my life. Oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you. For you. Oh Lord. Will you set my life in order for you? For you, I want to know your ways. I want to know your ways. Hallelujah. Now, hear me listen to me please in this bedeviled world that we live in can i tell you it takes a grace for high level consecration to carry certain dimensions of the grace and power of god to be consecrated means to be set apart you cannot serve the purposes of god and carry certain levels of graces with distractions everything calls your attention everything seems to be able to win your heart you are going to pray father dethrone everything that is not you until you become the king of kings seated at the throne of my heart every other idol everything i may have exalted above you i bring it to the foot of the cross lift your voice and pray take your place in my life oh god 
I dethrone every idol. I dethrone everything that has attempted to replace you in my life. Through the sacrifice of consecration, I desire to step into deeper dimensions. No distraction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. I know that our time is gone. I will soon begin to pray. Aside from maybe those who are here, if you can, please pair yourselves into three. You are going to pray. Any three people at all. If there's no space, you can look for two people and just hold the hand of someone. Pair yourselves. You are going to hold hands and you are going to pray. The Bible says a threefold cord cannot be easily broken. This prayer is a prayer of covenant with your destiny. That that which God intends for me to fulfill in the name of Jesus, no power in existence will stop me. You will pray for yourself and the person whose hand you are holding. Lord, every mantle and every grace that must come upon my neighbor, that must come upon my brother for destiny fulfillment. We are intentional about it tonight. Let it fall from heaven. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Everything that makes for preparation for a glorious destiny we agree in prayer this mantle must rest upon us tonight Keep praying, keep praying. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Pray and stretch in the spirit.
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus one last prayer point don't be tired you are making an investment for your destiny you're going to lay your hands on your head and say the glory of my destiny show forth the glory of my destiny show forth in the name of Jesus lay your hands and decree and declare this is the season where the glory of my destiny must show forth I lay my hands on my head as a token of my glory thou O Lord art a shield for me you are my glory the lifter up of my head someone pray the glory of my destiny the glory of my call the glory of my assignment hear the word of the Lord this is the season when you shine forth show forth manifest the glory of my destiny show forth show forth show forth show forth in the name of jesus show forth the glory of my destiny show forth by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus listen if you pay attention to all the spiritual exercises and the activities tonight you will marvel and wonder at what your life becomes listen this is how great men are made there is no other way this is a sacrifice you are making for your destiny tomorrow if anybody tells you you were just lucky tell them there is no such thing as luck there is a cup you are drinking and there is a baptism you are being baptized with i feel in my spirit to add one more prayer request the bible says and when there was no more vessel the oil stopped you are going to pray my spiritual capacity hear the word of the lord for tonight enlarge until you can carry the mantle of my destiny enlarge enlarge my capacity for the prophetic my capacity for evangelism my capacity to receive the mantle of favor enlarge by the power of the holy ghost i borrow vessels in the spirit i borrow not a few enlarge 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 capacity to hear enlarge capacity to see enlarge capacity to speak enlarge anda gada bela gada praska da bela gada praska de lekata enlarge by the power of the holy ghost enlarge gada pranta skate lekata parosko tu ya taba my spiritual capacity i stretch you by the power of the holy ghost i stretch my hunger i stretch my expectation pray pray from the depth of your heart Oh 
In the name of Jesus. 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 Please listen to me. There are five major reasons. And there are five major expectations that you must have every time you come into the presence of God. Whenever God calls for a solemn assembly, it is because he seeks to do five things. Ah, there's such a cloud in this place, my God. Consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome presence it fills this place consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome presence fills this place Consuming fire, sweet perfume, your awesome presence fills my life. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, your awesome presence fills this place so fill me up till I overflow I want to run over I want to run over fill me up till I overflow I want to run over I want to run over fill me up till I overflow I want to run Now listen, every time you come before the God of heaven, the first reason why he draws you to himself and to a place like this is to give you life-transforming encounters. Life-transforming encounters. Let me define for you what an encounter is. An encounter is a supernatural experience that makes god become real to you knowing a theoretical god will not do you much as far as destiny is concerned because when you stand before pharaoh he will ask you who sent you and you cannot tell pharaoh about a theoretical god you must tell him about a god you have met the first reason why god draws us to himself moments like this is to give you encounters so that like apostle peter you will say the things that we have seen the things that we have heard the things that our hands have handled even of the word of life that is what we teach number two the second reason why god draws us to himself at times like this is to give us an opportunity for transformation what's the pray transformation is the name given to the process that makes you become like christ in experience now the lord is that spirit it says and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty 
then he says we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of god he says we are changed from glory to glory even as by the spirit of god so moments like this are supernatural moments that are sponsored by a desire to have transformation in your life number three and that is the major reason why we are here tonight is that when god calls a people to himself in a solemn assembly like this he wants to reveal his grace and his power the revelation of the power of God is very important. It says, Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and even for his wonderful works to the children of men, that he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Listen, a generation that does not know the power of God will not be able to defend the name of Jesus. everyone must know what the power of god looks like not just the word of god not just the message our fathers who left us this heritage were not just people who heard about god they saw his raw power on display and it was on the strength of that that they could live and die for jesus there are levels of the power of god you must see in your life you must know that he heals you must know that he delivers it's not enough to hear that he heals you must see that he heals it's not enough to hear that he can lift men you must see that he can lift men oh taste and see that the lord is good not just oh hear and assume taste and see I believe in Jesus Christ today because number one the Word of God says so but in all honesty I will tell you I have seen God do spectacular things in my life and in the life of people God wants you to leave this camp with a level of certainty about God that when they tell you God can change a man's story no devil can turn your heart against that truth because you have not only heard you have seen why do we need miracle signs and wonders because there are needs in our lives that only the power of god can solve there are needs in our lives that go beyond counseling there are needs in our lives that go beyond advice we need a head-on collision with the power of the most high mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man and the angel replied and said the power of the highest shall overshadow you why do you need an encounter with the power of god because there are devils and there are demons and there are spirits determined to thwart the purposes of god over your life many of us here you come from families where you are the first person to rise to this level and let me tell you without the power of god what happened to those who went before you will happen to you too psalm 66 verse 3 say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you even so come yeshua come even so come and take your bride away how my soul longs to see your face my king even so even so come yeshua come what is the fourth reason why god draws us to himself I will tell you the fourth reason why he calls us to himself is to give us an opportunity to receive an impartation of his grace hallelujah impartation 
what is impartation impartation is the transference of spiritual possibilities the possibilities of the kingdom that come by the grace of god can be transferred that means you can leave this camp with an anointing you did not come with you can leave this camp with a mantle you did not come with and people will look at you and say when did saul also become one of the prophets can i tell you this you must expect to carry something this night that you were not born with you must expect to carry something on your destiny this night i can tell you specific moments in my life when certain graces came i knew when they came and i knew the difference they made in my life when the mantle and the grace for favor comes on your life you will know when the healing anointing comes on your life you will know when the grace for revelation comes upon your life you will know when the grace for the prophetic comes upon your life you will know when the grace that was upon esther comes on your life you will know now listen carefully because we are going to get into a very deep moment of of ministration and impartation you came here tonight you have listened to teachings after teachings now is the time for something from heaven to land upon your destiny jesus put in my heart an instruction and a mandate i have said it for as many times as i have come here that every nation and every city every church and every region he would send me to that i will find people in that congregation that the light that came from him to me there must be someone in that congregation he told me that that light should come on listen carefully many of you have heard about my encounters i've only shared a bit of them this man standing before you is a product of many 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 encounters listen very carefully there are angels in this place number two there are graces that are looking for men who will carry them in this place now please listen very carefully for some of you your being here tonight is the 20 year prayer that your mother kept praying and said lord i didn't have the opportunity to be used by you but if you can find my son or my daughter Please place something upon their life. Now listen carefully, please. Don't be distracted. There are conditions to receive maximally in an atmosphere like that, like this. And that's what I want to tell you very quickly and then we'll begin, I begin to minister. Number one is that you must believe in the God of heaven. Believe that God is the giver of every good thing for the Bible declares that every good and perfect gift cometh from above from the father of lights in whom there is no variableness nor shadow of turning number two you must believe in the vessel that he has sent you can believe in God and not believe in the vessel he has sent to you can i tell you it is not every anointing available that blesses you is the anointing sent to you for the bible says there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent to that means elijah as powerful as he was he passed other widows and could not help them but there was a specific one i will tell you hunger and determination can attract the anointing to your direction i 
have been to many meetings in my life especially during the formative years as god was making and building me i would run into powerful meetings and just hide there like a sponge with hunger with deep honor and reverence to jesus and reverence to the anointing and receive dramatic impartations i wish i had the time i would have shared with you in details how certain anointings came to my life i wasn't born with any one of them please hear me for some of you you have been coming for this congress for a few years but you've not been discerning enough and you went back without receiving anything serious god is giving you a chance tonight for some of you this may be your first time being here god is giving you a chance tonight for some of you you have come but you see yesterday's oil cannot solve today's challenges i came here tonight in addition to teaching you all of the things you have learned to release by faith the power of god over your lives and over your situations but then to leave you with a deposit of an anointing that you will go back like the foxes that samson released and you will go everywhere bringing glory to the name of the lord signs and wonders through your life manifestations of strange graces through your life this is what god wants to do are you ready for it tonight affect my life breathe on me i look to you for life affect my life breathe on me i look to you for life affect my life breathe on me lord i look to you for life affect my life breathe on me one more time affect my life breathe on me i look to you for life affect my now please listen very carefully there are men and women here everybody has a role and an assignment to play in destiny but there are specific people here the call for destiny and the call to serve the purposes of god has been trailing you like a shadow and god has been beckoning on you some of you have seen it in dreams you have seen god use you mightily now the time has come for that grace to locate you listen i'm going to pray for you and the power of god will begin to fall on so many people please whether you are an usher or not i want you to bring this category of people that i'm praying for right now hear me that the call of god is upon your life and the grace of god is marvelously looking for you and at work in you for some of you it is the prophetic for some of you it is the evangelistic for some of you it is the pastoral right now at the count of three i'm going to stretch my hands the marvelous fire of god will fall upon you let me have them out here right now at the count of three father in the name of jesus over the men and the women here may that mantle and that grace locate you now at the count of three one two three take that fire now bring them out take that fire now take that fire now take that fire now i ignite your spirit man bring them out that call of destiny 
that grace you are answering that call tonight oh by his angel may he visit you I release that grace upon your life I release that mantle upon your life I release that anointing upon your life let the power of the Holy Ghost come upon you now please whether you are an usher or not help those under the anointing Take that grace. Your destiny will never be the same. Now listen carefully. Hear me. There are some of you here under my, the sound of my voice. There is a mantle for prophetic intercession. It's a grace that is made for the altar. An anointing that will rest upon you. And grant you capacity to pray over nations. Capacity to release nations in prayer. At the count of three. May that grace fall upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. The grace for prayer and intercession. Please help them. Don't allow anybody to run around without holding them. Whether you are an usher or not. Please. So they don't injure themselves. Receive that grace. Receive that grace prophetic intercession like Elijah like Anna the prophetess hallelujah hallelujah that gentleman wearing a tag, putting your hand on your head. This man. Yes, you. Come. You are a student. Where? Lift your hands. God is going to use you mightily. There is an anointing coming on you. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will step into new seasons of the grace and the power of God. Now hear me. I want to rebuke the spirit of delay that has tied down your destiny. And as I pray for you, some of you, that spirit that has tied down your destiny, begging you at the same level, it must let you go now. Are you ready? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and that fire will rest upon you that every altar holding you down that will not let you go he must release you now father let there be liberty at the count of three shout jesus one two three i command that devil go now delay i cause you help them help them help them help them please hold them delay i cause you by the spirit of god Delay, I curse you. Delay, I curse you. I release you to go forward. I release you to go forward. I break those chains now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is by the name Abimbola? Abimbola. I'm hearing a name Abimbola. Is there someone like that? Abimbola. Abimbola. Your life and your family is about to change. Who is that person? Please make sure you verify so we don't have this place rowdy. What's your name? 
I want to pray for you. Where are you from? Who is from Ekiti? You are from where? What state? Is the mic working? Please sound, help us. Ekiti state. You are from Ekiti state. Where are you from? I'm going to pray for all of you, but this word is for you. My dear, look at me. The Lord is visiting your family. Huh? I'm, I want to pray for you. I don't know anything about you. But the Lord is revealing to me that the family of Abimbola from Ekiti State, there is a wicked altar that has tied down people from your family. And you are still a victim of that thing as I'm praying. But right now, I command that devil to let out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Alanda Salakroska de la Barusia Tebra Haskia Egrega de Belega de Barusiata. My dear, look at me. This one, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing something running around your head like smoke. I command that devil to let you go now in the name of Jesus. And I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free from every confusion. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. Is there a name like Ade Olu? Ade, like Ade and Olu. Ade Olu, who is that? Ade Olu. This is, I, this is a lady. I'm seeing white and blue. White, is it white and blue? White, is there someone like that? What? Please verify, don't just bring them out. We're on air. What's her name? Abiolua. Huh? Abiolua. 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 The person I'm seeing is Ad. I'll pray with you, but I'm saying Ade. A D E O L U. That's the name. I want to pray for you, my dear. Listen to me. Do you believe in the power of God? Where is your mother? Where is home? I'm going to pray for you tell your mom that you came to this place and the Lord hijacked the spirit of death over your family hallelujah please make sure no one is injured whether you are an usher or not once someone is under the anointing close to you it becomes your business to help them even while you are receiving please in the name of Jesus I decree and declare what God says to one he says to all every manifestation of the spirit of death over anyone's family right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead I curse it in the name of Jesus 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 I curse it in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. my dear I declare freedom for your family particularly your mother in the name of Jesus the fullness of her days she will fulfill in Jesus name I pray now hear me the Lord is revealing something for me I believe that there may be a number of people having that situation every time anything good is about to happen or even your exam is about to happen you will have a dream and in that dream either you will see something coming to molest you or you will see yourself in an old building I know that many people may have that experience I may not ask you to come out just where you are I'm going to pray with you because there will be so many people something is about to happen to you now hear me please everyone under the sound of my voice including these ones at the count of three every spirit that is not of the Christ now massive deliverance will happen here right now so please um you will see all kinds of manifestations please do well to help the people i decree and declare at the count of three i want you to shout jesus and i will command every spirit that is not of god it must release your destiny your time of liberty is now be intentional about this father i pray that every spirit that has tied anyone's life and destiny stopping them from manifesting destiny right now at the count of three 
I pray may your fire come and bring liberty for them are you ready now at the count of three shout Jesus one my God two three now I command that devil come out of them now out of their destinies out of their lives every cause every yoke every spirit I challenge you by the power of the Holy Ghost bring them out in the name of Jesus Christ be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now I rebuke every spirit go 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 out of their destinies out of their lives out of their families help that lady please hallelujah don't be tired i'm still praying look up please let me teach you something please look up let me have your attention can i tell you this most of the challenges that are written in the prayer requests you've written most of them are caused by the presence of wicked spirits jesus himself said well men slept an enemy came and sowed something and you will wake up with a condition i'll be praying for the sick shortly but we are still going to shout that name one more time hear me everything that has tied you down he told lazarus he said lose him lose him and let him go he tied your father and your father could not succeed he tied those who went before you but you are that one person who will break free from it and say no way are you ready to shout that name jesus father i pray that anyone across this ground who is a victim of any oppression by the power of the holy ghost and the blood of the eternal covenant at the count of three let their liberty come finally one two three shout jesus powers of ancestry powers of witchcraft foundations wickedness spirits of inheritance diabolic manifestations of darkness release god's people now release god's people now open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare i am free from every chain that held me back i am come on someone pray i am free i release myself by the blood of jesus are you praying are you praying i declare my liberty over yokes over curses by the blood of the eternal covenant i am free from yokes of ancestry foundations he who the son sets free indeed is free in the name of jesus in the name of jesus help that help them please these are just demonic manifestations i set them free it doesn't mean the people are witches and wizards you understand by now that god is setting them free now please look up listen carefully just listen to instructions listen carefully I want you to place your hand on your head i want to pray a prayer for you just do what i'm asking you to do you'll be surprised to see what happens now 
father i'm stretching my hands now anyone's destiny that has been exchanged that the destiny you are living is not what you god preordained for you because by witchcraft and manipulation that your destiny has been exchanged Shanas Kadila Pata. as you are laying your hands on your head the power of god is coming on a few people right now i decree and declare manas every spirit that has hijacked and manipulated your destiny let there be a restoration now help them please a restoration now a restoration now a restoration now but thou oh lord had a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou oh lord had a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head but thou O oh lord art a shield for me my glory you lift my head my goodness something is happening but thou O oh lord art a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head my glory the lifter up of my head you're my glory the lifter up of my head my glory the lifter up of my head this nyc lady come your life is about to change are you a copper you're wearing where are you from huh from emo state emo state lift your hands i want to pray for you the lord has located you tonight the lord wants to break an embargo that has stopped people from going forward look at me in the name of jesus i decree and declare over you may that embargo be broken now and for your sake I release everybody connected to you that everything that has tied them let tonight be the night of release in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah you can take down your hand please I want to pray listen do you know do you know listen carefully do you know there are spirits that close the door of supplies and favor over the lives of people your hand is a symbol of your productivity and when your hands are closed you cannot receive anything i'm praying for someone now everything that has tied your hands so that you labor and labor and labor and nothing comes from it by the power that raised christ from the dead hear me i speak by the god who called me this night i lose your hand now i lose your hand now i lose your hand now hallelujah praise the name of the lord now I want to still pray concerning the issues that relate to your academics not everybody failing is dull there are times that you fail because you are not paying attention you are not giving your studies the best but believe me when I tell you there are wicked spirits that sit upon the destinies of people to sabotage them can I pray for you you are the covenant keeping god 
You are the coming and keeping God. Yahweh, the coming and keeping God. Yahweh, the coming and keeping God. One more time. You are, you are the coming and keeping God. The covenant keeping God Yahweh, Yahweh The covenant keeping God Yahweh, the covenant keeping God There was a grace that was upon Daniel and his colleagues the Bible says when they were tested, they found them to be ten times better. I want to release a grace upon you. And I want you to believe it. Excellence is a spirit. You can contact that grace and the results can show. I stand by the anointing of the God who called me. And I declare anyone who has been failing here anyone who has tried and tried and these doors don't seem to open right now receive the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence help them please i command every devil fighting your academics hear the word of the lord let them go now Every devil fighting your academics, let them go now. Hear me. There are many people here. By your next result, it will be 5.00 on the dot. I hope you don't think I'm just motivating you. Let me say it again. That by your next exams, 5.00 on the dot. Every spirit that makes your script to be missing, Every spirit that may it all every time there is a problem with results is always your result. There are issues that you have concluded on, but there is a spirit that keeps carrying you over in the name of Jesus. I cast that spirit by the God of heaven. Supernatural understanding for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Before I begin to pray for the sick, listen carefully. If you are here, because I know that it's not everyone here who is a student, if you are here and either you or your loved ones have been trusting God for jobs and career breakthrough for a long time, lift your hands. Let's end this thing once and for all. Please lift. If you don't believe it, put down your hands. That there is someone you know or it may be for yourself you are saying oh god locate me and visit me he said i'm by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet they were preserved i pray for you in the name of jesus for you and everyone you are standing for everywhere your job is whether it's in the north the south the east the West in Europe, America, by Apakatos Keteba, Rakata Brendeketea, by this anointing, receive miracle jobs, career breakthroughs, miracle jobs, career breakthroughs, miracle jobs, career breakthroughs, 
in the name of Jesus God is able to settle men help them please help those under the anointing there mighty things are happening in this place for some of you before you get back to your station your loved ones will call you and say i can't understand what is happening strange doors just opening by the spirit in the name of jesus in the name of jesus let me pray for the sick now i will come back to speaking over you a little later but i want to pray for the sick the devil is a liar there is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary there is a stillness in the atmosphere oh come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary god is Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Ah. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord, for you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. to you we lift our voice in praise you are the lamb upon the throne now please except for those under the anointing those in front you can return back because i want to pray for the sick right now you can just stand by faith wherever you are you are trusting God for a definite touch and a miracle. Please lay your hand. Those under the anointing, just let them be. When they are good, there's a reason why I ask that they come out. Anyone who is not strong enough to stand, please leave them. Let them be. Place your hand where you are trusting God for healing right now. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. Now hear me. We are going to celebrate the miracle walking power of Jesus right now listen carefully please listen i am going to pray for you right now some of you as these spirits left you as these impartations came certain demonic occurrences and patterns have gone and have left here's what i want you to do i'm going to be praying for you right now over any infirmity in your body and the power of god will touch you the moment that happens I will give you an opportunity to check yourself the moment you see that the power of god has touched you and you can do something you could not do i want you to come and stand right here or i think we should just use one central place right here wherever you are then you come and stand we'll take a few testimonies then we'll go into the session of prayer there and then prophetic declarations over your life in the name of jesus place your hand now by faith and believe in jesus place your hand believe in jesus now keep your hand right there i want to rebuke that spirit right now Father, in the name 
name of Jesus. I stretch my hands right now. My God, I sense a strong anointing just moving upon people right now. Every spirit that is back of any infirmity in your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command that that spirit leaves you now in Jesus' name. I command that that spirit leaves your body now. Therefore, on account of the finished work of Christ and the victory purchased on the cross, I decree and declare, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Migraine headaches, be healed in Jesus' name. Peptic ulcer, be healed in Jesus' name. Hepatitis be healed in Jesus name every lump around your breast area I command that devil to disappear now every growth in any part of your body it dissolves now in Jesus name eye conditions be healed in Jesus name ear conditions I command that ear to open now hallelujah many of you wonder why I love to pray on requests I will tell you why because the Bible says number one that we see in part if there are still more please bring them very quickly and so we prophesy in part no matter what we see no matter what we hear we are limited in trying to identify what is wrong with you but your prayer request here is the most accurate representation of your desire because you wrote it by yourself with your own hand as a communication of your desire hallelujah let's read a scripture let me pull up a scripture and we we'll read and then we pray over this and we're done john chapter 16 john 16 we will read verse for time's sake we'll read verse 24 please give it to us media john 16 and verse 24 god desires for you to receive answers to prayer he says hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name he said ask and ye shall receive why that your joy may be full god wants you to leave this place with the fullness of joy are we together now here's how we're going to do it you will stand i will do the kneeling for you you're going to stretch your hand by faith and agree with me as we pray for the next one or two minutes i want you to declare by faith over your request here that father i have written it down the only thing I'm permitted to write again is my testimony. Go ahead and begin to pray. 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 Are you praying? Are you praying? Declare. Sate kaparaga sega de brende ge de balans. Imbrete ke paraka tapra sega de belekosia. Father, visit situations by the power of your spirit. Kali baraka tosh kali brende ge de belekosia. Someone pray. Krentes kate balatosia. It is not too late. You are yet to submit yours. Let it come now. Pandesh kali grandos kali prahaskada. Be anxious for nothing, the Bible says. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known. Shapako to shagrendege paratusia. Father, in the name of Jesus, visit families. 
visit everyone by the power of your spirit In Jesus name I pray shout a believing amen in Jesus name I pray amen. by the authority of the Word of God I decree and I declare these Egyptians you see today by the power that raised Christ from the dead may you see them no more forever hear me every human agent who needs to partner with god to bring answers to this prayer i command that they must partner with god and hear me everyone who partners with satan and says over their dead body for this prayer to be answered may the ground open and swallow them between now and the next three months i prophesy to you by the power that raised christ from the dead the same hand that wrote this request may that same hand receive answers now prophetically i stand upon these testimonies the same way i'm standing upon them they will never cause you trouble again we bring them under the feet of jesus christ in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we declare it done in jesus name now lift your hands i want to speak finally over you son of man can these bones live again and he said only thou knowest can i tell you we are made by the prophetic words that we receive jesus himself said man lives by two things one is bread the other is words we live by bread and we live by words i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead every door that has refused to open over your life and your destiny i command that door after tonight let it be open for you yeah. hear me i stand upon the grace that is at work in this commission and i speak over your life shame and reproach hear ye the word of the lord be far from God's people from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. By this time. 2023. You will return with strange testimonies. hear me everything that belongs to you but is in the hand of someone else by the power that raised christ from the dead i gravitated back to your hands let the grace for favor rest upon you let the grace for speed come upon you in the name of jesus christ I pray for your prayer life everything 
that has eaten away your prayer fire let there be restoration now let there be restoration of your word study life can i tell you this hear me anyone in your life right now who is contributing to your destruction your downfall your lukewarmness this night i separate you and them forever and in the same vein everyone who is a helper to your destiny wherever they are i call them by prophecy appear in your life now please hear me nobody standing here will be taken over by the spirit of death any spirit programming death over you between now and the end of the year that you will not cross over into next year alive i cast that spirit in jesus name now hear me i pray for every campus represented here in the name of jesus as you return back to your various campuses especially when the strike is over let fire through you engulf your entire campus prophetically i stand in agreement with you and we pray over the existing asu strike father for the sake of god's people may mercy speak over the federal universities in the name of jesus christ that the federal government and asu will be able to reach an amicable agreement so that school will be open i also pray for you the moment you are graduating may your job look for you i say it again the moment you are graduating may your job look for you we are wrapping up are there final year students here there is something called the finisher's anointing the grace that can push a man to finish strong wherever you are as a final year student right here we graduate you here right now in the name of the father in the name of the son and in the name of the holy ghost may nothing hinder your advancement in jesus name finally i pray for you listen carefully every one family represented here because everybody came from somewhere whatever has made them cry whatever has made them weep whether it is finances whether it is health whether it is career issues whether it is you know marriage issues whatever it is in the name of jesus the lord brings your family rest round about rest round about rest round about i declare you blessed i declare you lifted i declare that you go forward from glory to glory in jesus name i pray now this is my final session and my time is up i apologize just lend me a minute i have to do this i presume that many altar calls have been made here and i presume that many of you may have responded to a few but i know that there is one person here who is saying apostle while i heard you teach all through your sessions and even now that i've seen the power of god i confess that i need jesus i do not want to end this congress and go back without an encounter keep standing we're wrapping up apostle give me a chance to run to jesus or someone here is saying honestly i've given my life to jesus but i have backslidden and as it is i need rededication our time is already gone i'm going to just count one to three 
you belong to that category don't be emotional about it this is about your destiny you know that you need jesus i want you to run and come and stand here i'm counting three now one if you are running run quickly two the moment i count three i begin to pray run to jesus let him give you a new beginning are you celebrating what jesus is doing finally three please lift your right hand say this loud and clear every one of you mean it from the depth of your heart you are not reciting a poem the lord jesus himself is here say after me loud and clear say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i have seen your power i know that you are real i make jesus lord of my life savior of my soul king of my destiny i obtain forgiveness of sin i declare by the authority of scripture that i have eternal life into my spirit i am a child of god from tonight and forever i am a child of god the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i walk in newness of life forever and ever amen father thank you for these ones they have made these gallant decisions by the authority of scripture i declare their sins forgiven and i pray and agree with them that they start on a fresh note lord the power that keeps the power that makes the power that builds the power that advances may this grace and this power be at work in their lives i decree and declare that you go from glory to glory and grace to grace for in jesus name i pray now very quickly before we wrap up may i encourage i think you are to go to my left someone should be waving his hands there please they are waving their hands please i want you to follow this gentleman just for a minute or two they will have your details and you'll be back to your seat let's and um, let's um appreciate them as they go hallelujah four square thank you so much the leadership thank you so much i appreciate you may you go from glory to glory i love every one of you and the lord bless you in jesus name i pray dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny Alaska de Bashka na kata branda kete kato, kete branda kata bako tosko tobre kete kene kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.